Here we can see a photograph of a fire hydrant. And what I'm going to do is come to this clone tool. I'm going to select a brush, which is this one here, which is a brush with a kind of fuzzy edge. And I'm going to alter this to 400 and enter by pressing enter at the keyboard. Come over here and have a look at the brush against the image. And I can see it's roughly the size of the width of the fire hydrant. And I think that will do. What I'm going to do now is click control on the keyboard at the same time holding the mouse down and then I'm going to move over to the here as you can see if you just keep your eye here on this you can see I'm moving it up and down and as I'm doing it's transferring what's underneath this to here as you can see so what in fact is happening I am copying the fire hydrant by simply moving over the original fire hydrant and you can see the copy is appearing here. So I'll just continue to go down here. I'll bring in some of the grass. I've picked up some of the shadow there. And I'll come up and down. I could spend more time on this if I wanted. But there you can see what the actual uh, clone tool does. Now I'll come away and I'll finish it. Now here in this region is not quite what I wanted to appear. But I would have to be a little bit more careful with that. But the purpose of this is just to show you very quickly what the clone tool is capable of doing. Here is a photograph of a lake and going straight across it we can see there's a telephone wire and hanging off the telephone wire there appears to be some string which I suspect is from a released helium balloon. What I'm going to do is come here and I'm going to select the layer and make a copy of it. Going to this layer I'm going to call this one copy and the other one I'm going to call original. Now this is handy when you're working in GIMP because it makes sure you don't make mistakes with the layer because you know what layer you want to be working with. So I'm going to switch the original off and I'm going to select the copy because this is the layer I'm going to work on. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to magnify this region. Now if we have a look here we can see we've got the string and here is the telephone wire and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to choose the clone tool and I'm going to come over here and you can see I've got a very large brush size which is too big for what I wish to do here so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the brush size to 20 and see if that's big enough and then I'll come here and I can see the brush is wider than the actual wire which is fine for the purposes I want here now what I'm going to do in this particular case I'm going to choose an area of the sky here by pressing the control on the mouse appropriately and then I'm going to move backwards and forwards as you can see and I'm cloning this region of the sky to the position the telephone wire is in and now I'm cloning this position of the sky to the position that the string is in and I'm going to simply do this until I clone on top of the wire to remove it now I've decided that I want to change the brush so I'm going to come up here and choose a different brush to do the cloning and when I move into this region you can see that the shapes of the cursors have altered to represent the brush that I've chosen and it's a more random shaped brush so it's going to possibly look better when I do the cloning but we'll see if that's the case so I'm simply cloning from one region of the image to another here and I'm happily cloning. Now I'm going to choose a different region. I'm going to come here, press control on the keyboard and come over here and I'm going to clone away and get rid of this wire. But look very carefully what's happening. I'm introducing a lot of white there and that looks a bit false. Um, so I don't quite like the look of that. So I'm going to do control Z and get rid of a bit of it. So be careful when you choose your brushes and be careful about the region of the sky that you actually choose. Now let's have a quick look at what it looks like. Here you can see the image and there you can see is where I've removed the actual wire. Now here I've zoomed in and you can see that the wire is in between the branches. So it's going to be a bit more difficult to remove this but I'm going to use the same brush again and I'm going to remove it in this region because there's quite a lot of sky here and I'm not going to risk bumping into any of the leaves and the branches and so I'll happily be a little bit careful here to make sure I don't get rid of the leaves there but of course if I now decide to come into this region of course I've got to be careful and the brush is obviously too big so I'm going to change the brush again I'm going to come here and I'm going to change the size of the brush to an appropriate size and then I'm going to 
press control on the keyboard in this region appropriately with the mouse and then simply clone very carefully in these tiny gaps here. I'll stop recording the screen now and I'll carry on doing this in my own time and I'll return to show you the results of cloning away the wire. Well here you can see I've cloned away the wire and you can see it's completely gone. Now I've just switched on the original, I'm switching off the copy, there you can see the wire, there you can see there's no wire, so you can see the wire, there it is again and there it is gone. So you can see I've cloned away the wire from this particular image. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.